What is good C squad? Today is the day. Today is the day where we are going to be watching Moral Oral season three, episode four alone. From what I've heard in the comments, this is the episode that got Moral Oral canceled. And the reason why I bring up the episode name, because you guys also said that the original name for this episode wasn't alone. It was actually a different name that I can't say on YouTube. I don't know how to approach this episode. Obviously season three, has had more of a serious tone throughout the first couple episodes because from what I've heard this isn't an oral centered episode. The only thing I will say is now knowing the original name of the episode I'm very scared. And hey if you want more moral oral on the channel like the video. Let's get this to 5,000 likes. Let's go. W-triple-U Okay, it's 8.30 on this Good Friday, and coming up, we have a special edition of Reverend Putty's Sermon. But first, a fluff piece. Okay, so this is already starting off really weirdly. So normally there's actual music playing in the intro, either fun spirited music or serious music. We don't have any music. I already like the way we're going. Earl Puppington left the city earlier today for the Moralton Nature Reserve and a hunting trip with his dear old dad. We spoke with Righteous Oral earlier. So, Oral, excited about the trip? You bet! I've been practicing shooting and everything! Yeah, we noticed. So, you think this town's just gonna fall apart without you for two days? Well... <laughs> oh. Once again, this episode is taking place before the camping trip. This isn't going to be a Oral-centered episode, but it's gonna be a Nurse Bendy episode? Oh, I like that. I think Nurse Bendy is a perfect character to have an episode based around. I decided to gear today's special radio sermon to all you ladies out there who stay home and take care of things for the male heads of the household. But even though your current duties may be a little on the trivial side, at least most of you finally carried out your most important duty and gave birth to your husband's offspring. Hubby! Hubby! Why does her room look so... Does Nurse Bendy have a kid? I don't think she has a kid. There you are! And Sunny! Hi, family! Sorry I'm late. Principal Fakey sure has me do a lot of adult things around the office. Even today when there's no school or anything. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Look, isn't it adulty? We should set a good adult example for our little Sunny here. Right, Sunny? Aw, you're so childy. So, are all you family hungry? What is going on? Wait, so she doesn't have a kid, but she doesn't have a family either? There's much more to Nurse Bendy than I originally thought. Well, it is just about swallow time. How about... Food cakes with a side order of eat stew, and then we can wash it all away with some liquid wet drinks. She's talking very kiddish. You know what I mean? Even though she's an adult, she's talking like a child. Huh. Also, the eerie background with no sound at all. I like that. This is gonna be tummy for our yummies. Oh, firstly, we must all pray for grace. I'm so confused. We know Nurse Bendy as the character who gets taken advantage of sexually. So when she comes home, she has a pretend family because she doesn't have a real one. I wonder if she's never got to mentally mature because of the way that she's been treated. Bless this mess of delicious food. And thank you kindly for keeping our joyous family together under this one lovely filled roof. We all need people who aren't mean to me or that don't act like they only care about doing dirty, awful things to you. We need family because they care that I'm a real person who has thoughts of sadness sometimes along with happy thoughts or scared or loneliness thoughts. I feel thoughts of emotions and I need people to know that. So thank you for keeping this family and Good shape. DM for now while we eat. Signed, my family. Holy shit. The show just gave us the answer on a silver platter. So yeah, she wants a family, but everyone she meets just uses her. This is very interesting. Like, I'm curious on how this canceled Moral Oral. I'm loving this. This is great. Going from joking to being serious about Nurse Bendy. Okay, let's eat. Is this not just a Nurse Bendy episode? 
oh, so it's not just Nurse Bendy. This episode is showing us the backgrounds of all these characters. So far, it just seems like women. I'm actually very intrigued learning more about the teacher because all we know her as is kind of just like every other person in Moralton. They just care about themselves. <laughs> Okay, um, huh. I see why this episode was the one that canceled Moral Oral now. Well, this is about to get very serious, I can tell. What is going on? I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what I can say or what I should say. Oh my god. God. Obviously, I know what she did with the coat hanger. Obviously, she's taking pills to relieve the pain. I just don't get what- I don't get what's going on. But anyway, I have this nephew. <laughs> Forget him. That moron isn't doing anyone a favor. But most kids are little versions of us. It's amazing. You can actually see us in them. I mean, I just- Interrupt Reverend Putty's- What? What's going on? I was actually enjoying this for the first time. For this special news report. Oh? After only one month of incarceration, serial is Cecil Creepler. Oh, come was on. found dead in his cell at Freedom County Prison. More on this later. And now back to Reverend Putty's sermon. Okay. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna go off on a limb here and say she was forced into sexual intercourse by the ice cream guy, Mr. Creepler, the one that tried to do things with Doughy. Oh my god. Please don't fucking tell me she had a kid with that guy. Oh my god, please don't tell me he impregnated her. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I gotta thank you. Do you know what babies mean to God? That's right. Now we're going to this person? She's the lady that likes eggs, right? Sorry, we haven't seen her in an episode in a very long time. Whoa, she has a whole, like, paper mache of Moralton. Hmm? I'm not home yet, mother. I told you. 9 P of M. No sooner. So she has a rug that's shaped like an egg? Actually, her lamp is also an egg as well. What is her infatuation with eggs? The only thing I can think of is how women have eggs for sexual reproduction. I wonder if she doesn't have them anymore. Oh, by the by, I want something special this time round. Are you sitting? Fertilized. That's right. Fertilized eggs teeming with inner life. Quit gagging, man, and listen to me. I'll reward you thoroughly. Yes, yes, I'll finally at long last allow you to gaze upon my cursed virtue. Heathen. Mmm, quite dry. Yes, dry as a hen's. My mother saw to that. What the fuck is going on? I don't get it. Look, in all fairness, I'm not very educated when it comes to that kind of stuff. I thought all eggs were fertilized. We now know that she doesn't have reproductive eggs inside her. Hello, mother. No, I just got in. Well, it shouldn't have been occupied. Perhaps you fingered the dial erroneously. Yes, I heard some of it. Mother, I hardly think the Reverend Putty is sufficiently pious enough to even tackle the subject of original sin. Of course I'm more suited! What a question! My lack of eggs is not a hindrance! It is an asset! Don't push me down like that when you did this to me! I was an infant when I had them. I was an infant when you had them removed. I am immaculate from conception. Anyone that's watching that understands the female reproductive system at like an organ level, are you actually able to take away a girl's eggs at an infant age? I didn't think that was possible. Also, is she hinting at the fact that she wants to be the new reverend in town? Look, I'm still trying to get over the teacher part because oh my God. 
mustard. I just realized that Nurse Bendy has more kid-like curtains on her windows. I didn't even notice that before. Elementary school teacher Agnes Sculptum, described as a generally disinterested human being by her students, doggedly stalked the perpetrator for several weeks, heroically sacrificing her virginity along with her naturally blonde hair in order to finally apprehend the violent, brunette-chasing Romeo. When asked how she came to catch this perverted ragamuffin, Sculptum simply stated, I left my doors unlocked. Apparently to the glum frumpy teacher, that action alone was far more harrowing than the actual act of savage, non-consensual sex. Reverend, back to you! You're kidding! Nope, back to you. Oh my god. I've never thought about when a person gets sexually taken advantage of forcefully, I never thought about the idea of said victim finding pleasure in it. Is that a real thing? Dude, what the f- Fuck, man. So the teacher found pleasure in getting forced into sexual intercourse because it was her first time and now she can't get over it? And she feels bad about it too. Is that real? I don't know what to say. Oh. I mean, yeah, this episode's the one. I can see why this episode canceled Moral Oral. I don't in particular feel bad for the old lady. It's terrible that she got her eggs taken away from her at a young age and she never had a choice to have kids. But Nurse Bendy and the teacher, oh my god. God, 